Hello and welcome to the first edition of What a Discovery. This week, as most of us cannot leave home, we bring you a quick virtual tour to an amazing archive we have available for you at your fingertips. We are going to take you on a short journey to the Maynooth University Library's Ken Sarawiwa Audio Archive. First, go ahead and open up your internet browser. I'll be using Google. Type in Ken Sarawiwa LibGuide. You may be wondering what a LibGuide is. Technically, LibGuides are a content management and information sharing system. Simply put, they are web pages created by librarians that contain information and links related to a specific topic to help you identify resources and relevant materials about said topic. As you see, the top hit for this search is the Maynooth University LibGuide for the Ken Saro Wewa collection. Go ahead and click on it. As you can see, the LibGuide has a lot of information about Kensara Wiwa and the Ogoni 9. Please take your time to explore at your leisure. To give you a brief background, in the early 1990s, the Shell Corporation violently inflicted themselves upon the Ogoni people and land in Nigeria. Brave Ogoni people such as Kensara Wiwa would not let it stand and were vocally opposed to the Shell Corporation and the Nigerian military government. Nine of these protesters, including Kensara Wiwa, were assassinated. To give you a better idea of what Kensara Wiwa and the Ogoni people's story is about, I will read you the preface written by No Kensara Wiwa, Kensara Wiwa's daughter written in the second edition of the book, Silence Would Be Treason. Here it is. In 1992, when I was a teenager, my father wrote me a letter from Nigeria informing me that his campaign for environmental and human rights was intensifying and that the government could kill him. He hadn't been incarcerated at that point. Life seemed normal, and I read his words with incredulity. Surely he was scaremongering the way parents sometimes do. How could anyone contemplate their own violent demise so collectedly? It is said that courage is defined not by the absence of fear, but the ability to overcome it. My father knew the risks when he took on the Nigerian military government and Shell Oil. The fact that he could go to battle, eyes wide open against such formidable opponents, was a mark of his hardiness and ambition. We, the Ogoni people, were specks against the giant rock face of Nigeria's military-industrial complex, and until the 1990s, few outside the Niger Delta region knew who we were. Yet my father brought our environmental problems to the planet's consciousness through persistence and a belief that justice will eventually prevail when pursued peacefully. The letters he wrote to Sister Magella from his prison cell reveal a lack of self-pity. He focused on family, community, and the struggle making no distinction between his own fortunes and that of the Ogoni and Nigeria. Success at an individual level was meaningless to him, unless shared by everyone. His sacrifice is a lesson and inspiration to us all. No Sorrow Wiwa, London, 2018. End of quote. I'll give you a moment to take that in. Now we can take a deep breath together. Okay, for the, purpose, for the purposes of this virtual tour, I would like to draw your attention now to the navigation menu here at the top of the page. As you can see, the second navigation button says audio. Go ahead and click on that button. Here you will find a series of podcast episodes. In these recordings, Sister Magella McCarran recounts her childhood in Fermanagh, the decision to join a religious order, her early years in Nigeria, meeting Ken Sarawiwa, her efforts in Ireland and internationally to save the lives of the Ogoni Nine, and her campaign work in Ireland as a table observer of the Shell to Sea campaign and the Garvahi road conflict. Take your time and explore this audio archive at your leisure. Listen on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, on your desktop, through Bluetooth speakers, however you choose. Sister Magella was able to bring Maynooth University the last book written by Kensar Owiwa before his execution, called Silence Would Be Treason, which is available electronically to the public. Look here at the navigation pane again. You can see that there's the first edition and the second edition available. If you click on the link, you'll see that it brings up a PDF of the book. It is available to the public and it is free. 
This is where I read the preface by his daughter. For those of you that are interested, every year the Maynooth University Library organizes the Ken Saro Wiwa Seminar. It's an incredible and lively event featuring artists, academics, Sister Magella, Ogoni people, and more. If you're inspired by this story, you are welcome to attend and perhaps even contribute to the event. Fantastic! What a discovery!